In this video, I'm going to show you how to add JavaScript to your HTML files. I'll be using the web editor by tiny.host, which is really easy to use. They're also great for publishing your website, so I'll run you through that at the end. So I'm on Tiny's HTML editor now. Let's scroll down a bit. You can see here is a HTML file that we can now edit in the browser. If you haven't seen HTML before, basically you can see it's made up of these tags. For example, we have this body tag. This will define what's in the body of the HTML file, and then you have to close most tags at the end like this. So to start off, I'm gonna add a button to the HTML file. Let's go inside the body, create a button tag. Inside, I'm gonna write test one, and then I'm gonna close that button. You can see on the right side here, this document is updating in real time. Now let's add some JavaScript to our HTML file. I'm gonna go to the head section. This is normally where you put your JavaScript. I'm gonna create a script tag, and inside this tag, we can write our JavaScript. I'm gonna create a function. It's for our button, so let's say my button function, and we're gonna do an alert, say hello, and now let's close the script tag. To add this to our button, we gotta go back there. Let's add an attribute, it's called onClick, equals, and now we're gonna say my button function. And now if we go to the right, we can now click our button and there's the alert with the hello message. So what we just added is called inline JavaScript. Sometimes you wanna add JavaScript from a separate file. How you do this is if you scroll down, it's already here. You basically write a script tag and provide a source. This is called script.js. And Tiny has this already provided and bundled into the project. We can go to the JavaScript section. You see they have a default function here, my function. If I replace this text with button, what this function will do is it'll get the first button and change its text to hello world. Let's create a second button now. Let's go on click. We're gonna call my function instead, call it test two. And now if we go to the right side, let's click that test two button and you see it changes the first button to the text hello world. Now that we have a HTML file with some JavaScript, if we wanna publish this to the web, we can use tiny.host. If you're using the editor, it's super easy. You just click publish. You can see here, we have the html.zip already uploaded. This has the HTML and the JavaScript inside. I can use a custom domain, but I'm just gonna use theirs. I'm gonna call it html-app, click publish. And in just a few seconds, this does not take long. Here is our app. We can follow the link and here's the HTML from earlier. I can click the button, the JavaScript is working and you can share this on the web now with anyone.